And this is Uma coming with your daily twin flame reading for Thursday, December 28. I've already prepped my deck, prayed to the angels to ask me to help me with this reading. And for those of you that follow along and that have been time stamping the videos, that's totally awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. So without further ado, here we go. So let's start with the Divine Masculine. So time stamping at 30 seconds in. Here we go. 30 seconds in, we are time stamping for the Divine Masculine and what he is feeling today towards his Divine Feminine. Okay, so we have two cards. We have the Retreat, and we have Stay Optimistic About Your Love Life. So you guys know when I do these readings, for some reason, I always read this Retreat card as him connecting to you and retreating from the world because it says it's time to disconnect from the world and you see two people walking into the forest. So whenever I get that card, I always take it as he's just focused on you and depending on what relationship he is in, right? So if we're talking about a divine masculine in union or connected, um, separated, but communicating, they're with you and talking to you and exclusively with you. If it's a divine masculine that is separated and not communicating, he might just be retreating by himself into his, his own world, okay? And it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is the mindset of a divine, divine masculine today. He's feeling very optimistic about the relationship between you and him. All right, so let's get some clarifiers for today, Thursday, December 28th on a divine masculine. You know, it's funny, even though I shuffle these cards, I kind of like to shuffle them again. I don't know why I do that, but I do. All right, so clarifiers for the Divine Masculine today, Thursday, December 28th. We have Eight of Fire, the Star, Seven of Ear. So what I feel with these cards is that there's a lot going on in his life. Okay? Things haven't been working out the way that he's wanted them to work out in his life, I feel like this is other people's energies. There's just a strain. I feel the Divine Masculine exhausted today or just not in the mindset. However, happy times are ahead and I feel that you, Divine Feminine, are tied to that. I mean, there's definitely a female goddess on that uh, picture, a female angel and her cup overflow it. You know, she has two jugs and there's just water streaming for it because she's abundant and plentiful. So I feel that concerning the relationship with you, he's in a better place. He's happy. He's feeling good. You're the one thing that's working for him in his life right now. And there's a lot of chaos outside of that, but he sees you in a positive light. And the only reason I say that that is you is because we got this card, well, these two cards, which talks about staying optimistic about your positive, about your love life, positive thinking, and disconnecting from the world, right? So I feel that this is the world over here. So today what we find with a divine masculine is that he's craving his divine feminine. He's craving her because... Life is a little bit chaotic right now. She is his source of comfort. And he's realizing that and recognizing that. Okay, so that's a divine masculine. Let's look now to divine feminine. So timestamp at 4.30, 4 minutes, 30 seconds in. Let's look at the divine feminine today. Keep an open mind. I feel that... With the Divine Masculine doing a 360 and coming back towards you, that for some of you, you're like, what is going on? Can I trust this? And Spirit is saying, yeah, you know, we've been doing the work. He's been doing the work. You've been doing the work. You can trust it. Absolutely. 
So let's clarify for the Divine Feminine today. <laughs> there you go. We have the Lover's card, Twin Flames. The Sun. And Renewal. So we find the Divine Feminine in a really good headspace today. Her lover is back. Her happy times are here. So it's interesting because when I do these readings and I explain these cards, I teach this class, this Angel Tarot Chord class, and the star is looking to the horizon. It says, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. So the Divine Masculine is not there yet. He's seeing it. He feels positive. He's optimistic, but he's not there yet. However, the Divine Feminine is. Isn't that interesting? So something has happened between these two, and it sounds like all that communication, when we kept pulling page of air over the past couple of days and weeks, it feels like there's been some clear communication between these two. He's on board now. She's already there. Because the sun talks about your golden time. It's here. Your, your happy time is here. The star talks about it's coming. But be optimistic, be hopeful, be positive, because it's, it's on its way in. So that's interesting that Divine Masculine pulls Star and Divine Feminine pulls the Sun. And she also pulls the Sun with the Lover's card, so we know that there's good news today about the relationship, about the Twin Flame relationship. And we also see the Renewal card, which is a very good sign for reunion. Because this talks about moving in a new direction, a favorable assessment. And you always see the family there standing in front of the angel. So it's not her moving by herself or her moving on. It's her moving with someone, the child, the person, right? So, and she pulled all three cards today were major arcana. So Divine Feminine, you guys are doing it. You're absolutely doing it. I'm so proud of you. You're staying positive. You're having hope. You're having faith. You're praying. You're doing your affirmations. You're doing whatever you need to do. Today is going to be a wonderful day for you in terms of love. Okay. So let's now go ahead and timestamp it for couples that are in union. So 725, or let's just go to 730. So seven minutes, 30 seconds in, couples that are in union, what is the day like today for you? Divine masculine and feminines that are married, living together, in relationship, what's the day like for you? Children. So children are a source of comfort or discomfort today, but your love life is being affected by children today. So either you're having a disagreement or falling out about each other's children. I feel for a small group of you, there, you know, there's other children. So if there's a divine feminine and she has her own children from a previous um, relationship, or divine masculine has his own relationship, his um he has children from another relationship, and I feel like there's some kind of issue here today, but let's clarify that and see more about what's going on. So this is for twin flames that are in union. King of Fire, Four of Water, Six of Fire. So I feel that if it's not an issue with children, it's the call to be more playful because there's some kind of discontentment and boredom from either one of you right now. Um, well, this is what I feel. I feel like one of you is king of fire and one of you is four of water. So what I mean by that is one of you is really focused at work or work related or just, you know, your mind's on work. And this person here whose mind is on work is neglecting the person here who's just feeling discontented and bored. And like, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. And the advice is, this is how I'm reading this now, you both need to be playful. So the one who's focused on work all the time needs to be more playful and let go of the work. The one who's just bored and discontented and happy within themselves, you need to be more playful and you know, what would a child do? How would you entertain yourself today? You know, what playfulness can you do to make yourself happy? Because you making yourself happy and you over here letting go of work and becoming more playful leads to six of fire, which is the victory card. 
So there's a way out today. Spirit is saying there's a way out today, but it's going to take both of you having that playful attitude to have your way out. Okay, so that is for twin flames that are in union. We now go to twin flames at 1010. That was good. 1010, twin flames that are separated but communicating. 1010, twin flames separated but communicating. calling in your soulmate. So today it feels like a connection between the twin flames that are separated and communicating. It feels like the energy is you both are calling each other in. Let's clarify this before I go further. So we get a severe balance and six severe. It really feels like today is a good day for reunions. I know I, I know you guys get tired of me always talking about the reunions, but these cards are just really good cards. I mean, we have two people that are requesting their soulmate right now. They're requesting each other. And then on top of that, we have a severe, which talks about new beginnings, the start of something new. It's challenging. It comes from a challenging past, but it's here. Balance is restored. All right, all the mind and emotional discomforts that has been feeling over the months, the past nine months, it's it's done. The balance has been reestablished. And the only reason I'm reading that as the balance has been reestablished is because we have six of air, which talks about the end of a difficult period, taking a trip. You know, things are looking up. So... We have two air cards here, which means this is the mindset. So even if you don't get into reunion today for twin flames that are separated but communicating, it's close. Because what I feel here is union in terms of the two of you just gelling and vibing and on the same page. So for twin flames that are separated but connect, uh, you know, communicating, things look very good today. The mindset is what I'm paying attention to. The air cards have to do with your mindset. And the mindset is very positive, which is what you need to move onwards. Okay. Let's now go to the twin flames that are separated and not communicating. So we're going to start that at 13 minutes direct. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to shuffle. Okay, so 13 minutes in, this reading for today, Thursday, December 28, is for twin flames that are separated and not communicating. Here we go. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I love that. So for those of you that are separated and not communicating, so far, your reading is hang in there. Hang in there. Let's see what we got for you guys. Page of Water, Ten of Earth, and Three of Earth. So these are all really positive cards. You remember what we talked about with the Divine Masculine? That it, he got, stay optimistic about your love life or retreat, right? And at the beginning of the reading, I said that he is retreating with his twin flame. This is what this card says. He's retreating with his twin flame. And that is, and I said at the beginning of the reading, this is for the divine masculines that are in union with their twin flame or separated but talking to her. And I said that if you have a masculine that is not in the relationship with his twin flame and not communicating to her, he's retreating. He's retreating by himself. So even though he's not with you or talking to you, he's retreating. And that is a good sign because it also talks about being optimistic about your love life, positive thinking. So wherever he is, whatever he's doing, he's thinking about you in a very positive way. Okay. And that's good because look at the cards we pulled for you guys. Look at the cards we've pulled. Right? Page of water. Now this can be a new person. So if you guys just broke up or just separated, 
You know, there might be love on the horizon for either of you, but also it can talk about a relationship beginning a new phase, which would be your relationship with your twin flame. It talks of 10 of earth. Happy family life, financial stability, finding joy in the little things in life. You can only do that if you go within and retreat and pull away from other people and find your way, right? And then three of earth talks about, you know, work life being rewarded, creativity at work, being a team player. So what we find for each of you individually, divine masculine and feminine that are separated and not communicating, life is offering you some really beautiful bounty today. The promise of a happy home life, the promise of good, you know, good work, rewarded. And then you guys just feeling each other. You're feeling each other because this is the love of a lifetime. If this is your twin flame, this is the love of a lifetime. So you might be connecting on the 5D level and that's why you feel actually kind of happy on the inside because you're feeling that love. Okay, so let me end with your affirmations. All right, 1610, final call. And this is the affirmation for all twin flames. The mantra for today is, oh, this one popped out, trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. I mean, really, across the board, everybody got great, great readings today. Everyone did. So whatever you're feeling, trust it. So Divine Masculines, if you're looking at this video, you know, stay optimistic about your twin flame relationship. Retreat into the world either with her or by yourself and do your self-work because it's coming. Divine Feminine, you were asked today to keep an open mind. And all, the, all the, the twin flames were given very positive cards today. So trust. Trust that this is happening. This is all coming true exactly as you want it. It's here, guys. It's here with literally three more days to go before the end of the year. You did it. You did it for 2017. All right. That is your reading for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm now taking orders for annual readings. You can either do a one hour annual reading over the phone or in person with me in Virginia. And that is $155. Or if you want an email reading to also include some astro astrology and numerology reports as well, that will be $255. Just email me. I'm taking orders right now. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.